What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cards and Coffee. It's been a little while since I've posted a video. I've been on the national grind, been traveling from event to event, and I even have my own regional topping deck list I want to showcase to you guys, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you guys get notified when I post it. But today, I have an insane deck list that had a lot of success in the Utah regional that I want to show you. But before I show you the regional topping deck list, please go grab yourself a cup of coffee or something. That way you guys can sit down and tune in. Let's do this. What's up guys, this is Cards and Coffee. We're all the way out in Utah. Flew out here for the regional. I'm with our first place champion. What's your name? What did you play? Um, <laughs> my name is uh, Omar Ramos and I played, um, I guess you call it Heat Soul Turbo. It's not really like Salad Mangry because a lot of people thought I was playing Salad, but it's not really Salad, so. Right, no, the deck is fire, man. I know I had been testing it for some while, or for a while now, and a uh, bunch of hand traps, bunch of draw power. Show us the list, man. I'm really, really interested to see what you did. Uh, yeah, no worries, but I'm gonna start off with some shout-outs if that's all right. Oh, so, yeah, of course. First shout-out, Paragon City Games, best locals in Utah. <laughs> Better, the best locals. If y'all ever can come to Utah and go there, please play. They're super dope guys, super great community. We get so many players to play there. Nice. Oh, man, so many people. Shout-out, my boy Hector, he got second. They didn't draft me. <laughs> uh, shout-out, oh, man, Omi, Tyler, uh, Bontiago, Beeston. Mikey, Matt, Matt too, because this deck was insane as well. Let's go, Matt. Matt's a dual player. Oh, man. Shout out to Jordy on my token. This is my friend Jordy on here. Got it custom made. Jordy's nice. Jordy is insane. Um, so you won the Matt, but what Matt were you playing on today? Oh, yo, the Spice. Yo, custom. A custom, custom map. Let's go. By me. He's got all the zones. EMZ is all you need. <laughs> Shout out Tina. Shout out Tina, homegirl. <laughs> okay, so end of the day, what was your record? I went seven wins and one draw. All right, undefeated, right? Yeah. On. And uh, how many cards in the main? Uh, 47. 47? 47, yo. Yeah. Gee, you ready for mine. All right, yeah. well, let's get into it, man. Yeah, so, yeah, we'll get right into it. Oh, shout out my mom, too. She's insane. But <laughs> shout out the mom. She's, she's, she's insane. Yeah, we'll get into the... So it's like broken down in different engines and stuff, so we'll get into the code talkers. So we play three micro coder. And three code generators, so they both have the same effect that doesn't activate in hand. Where you can link summon using them from your hand for any code talker um, link in your extra deck, and then if you use a material from the hand, they have different effects. So, this one, if it's using material from the hand, it searches any cyanide spell or trap from your deck to your hand, and this one, if it's sent from the hand as material, it sends any cyber, so 1200 or less attack, which is the only one that matters is Dotscaper, right? So that way, like it just makes your heat soul combo a lot more live. And then you also have effects where if they're used from the field, so if this is used from the field as link material for a co talker, you can search for any level four lower cybers. And then this one, if it's used as material from the field, it can just add that target instead of sending it. So right on. they gotcha. just link climb you, make access code, they just heat soul. Like the whole purpose of the deck is just to get the heat soul and draw to you, just because you play so many non engine cards to where like you just want to blow out your opponent. Right, right. And so, well, yeah. quick question here because, well, I mean, you are playing 47 cards, but yeah. I know in my testing, uh, I had put that card to one, the uh, the code generator, because it was oh, a good really? extender, but I found there was a lot of times that I would search the spell card, and then if I, after I got nibbed, if the adventure got baited, then at least I knew I can always go into the Link Spider off of the token, and yeah. then I could use Sign It to search that, and yeah. I could still play. Uh, you just wanted to max out just yeah, because just, of extenders? Or yeah, just because like, just, just like, it plays around Ash a little bit more, because like, People are like, what cybers can you send from the deck to the graveyard? That like really impacts them. So, and when I send this, they're like, oh well, their ash just becomes dead at that point. So like, right. you just want as many like extenders like turn three to like kill your opponent. So, um, gotcha. that's why you just max out on these. Sounds good. And then you also max out by playing the three cyanide mining. So it's just searchable off of microcoder. Of course, of course. And then you also play cyanide conflict. So this card's really insane because yeah. <laughs> if you control a code talker, um, in 
and your opponent activates a monster spell or trap, you negate and banish it, and then they can't activate that same card the rest of the turn. So if they activate right, you just banish the right, they can't activate another right the rest of the turn. So it's oh, just insane. Broken. And it's a counter trap as well, so they can't like, they have to have red reboot. Just like, it's insane. So that's it for like the Code Talker engine, I guess. Then you play a little Salad engine. I played one Gazelle, one Jack Jaguar, one Spinley, and then one Mirror. So this card is insane. Um, if this card is added, except by the normal draw, you can summon it from your hand. So you right. can do it by with these cards as well, with your code generator and this. Okay. You can add it and then you summon it. It's a nice extender. Nice. And then also you can pitch a Salad card that's not itself and summon it from your hand as well. So it's just another nice, extender. Yeah. Engine. That's awesome. And then you play the three circle. This card is insane. Yeah. I don't know why this card's at three, but. It just gets to anything that you want. So, like this card alone is just a one card heat soul, so it's just insane. It's funny, I have a friend at home. Uh, I showed him a list similar to this, uh, not 47, but uh, <laughs> he's a big salad fan, but he just died inside when I showed him how many salad cards we were playing. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. There's no salad deck. There, I guess yeah. uh, he might like your list a little bit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, but like, people say I play salad, but I don't play salad. It's just Cyber's toolbox. And I played the one Sanctuary as well. Of course. And then that's it for like the Cybers cards. They play the non-engine cards. So you play, of course, Brave. So three Enchantress, um, one Griffin. I also played Illegal Knight. I explain that in a second. How was that for you today? It's insane. So just like um, with your deck, sometimes you don't have as many follow-ups. So like with my deck, I played the three and I also played two Faithful. Yeah, so, that's right. When two? we played, I noticed you had the yeah, second Yeah, I played one in two. Deck. Yeah, so that way, like if my turn three, if I don't have too many Cyberses to like kill them, I can just kill them with a uh, Griffin. If they out the if they out the Griffin somehow by like setting it to Grave, then I get the Illegal Knight as another interruption. So. Right. Right. And also, just drawing the uh, Faithful Adventure is uh, pretty good too yeah, because it, chain blocks and all that stuff. Yeah, that, and also water. it's also a Cybers as well because it gets you to this, and then this um, summons the token. Token becomes Link Spider, so right. it's yep. pretty good. Then I played the one Draco back, and then the one Foolish. Awesome. Just insane cards. And then hand traps. So I played 15 of them. <laughs> so I played three Niv, right. three Ash, three Valor, three Ogre. And then three Emperor. Okay, so we played in Swiss. Yeah. And you hit me with Ghost Oak. Yeah. I was not prepared for that. Yeah, what it's made it's you want to play that card? So it's like it's like another card to where like if they try and um, side lock you, you just ogre the Hulk, and that way they can't make TG. And so that way like they can summon any tuner, but at that point like they can't really side lock you. So it ensures me to like um, have a turn on my turn without being locked out of Dexter deck. Okay. And only that, I just felt like a good meta call because a lot of people were gonna play that Punk Therion deck. So, right. um, so hitting the Faithful is just a nice two for one. So doesn't get him the equip or the monster. So it's just no, it's fair. really insane. And it's Plus also it's like yeah, Sword Soul and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like like you said, like get your Celine. Like I just ogre the Celine. They can't go to access code. So right. Really it's also important because sometimes it becomes a level three on field to where you normal summon it, and you can either make Mirage Stalio or you can make the um. Uh, Almiraj as well, so yeah, it's a salad card, right? So that's pretty, uh, pretty good. Yeah, so like, the is just a really insane card. Um, super slept on, but I like it. And then I play one call by. Stable. Yep. Best card. Had to play the call by. So like I said, 47 in the main. Um, nice. I like the number. It used to be 48 because I played a rage, the Salamangri rage, but I didn't like it just because it was only an optimistic mind. But I was like, I didn't really respect the game one, so right. Plus, you also have the Draco back if you didn't have to discard it, right? You could yeah. just try to hold it. At least I know I was doing that in my adventure deck today, where if I absolutely didn't have to get rid of the Draco back and I'm going first blind, mm -hmm. I try to not get rid of it if I didn't have to. That way, at yeah. least you know if you do get mined. Right? Know? Yeah, yeah. But post side is a little different. I'll show you why. But All then right. we'll get to the extra deck. So, so shout out to Jordy. He's insane. <laughs> so. Um, you might be crazy. So like, I played double access code. So I think this is like the correct thing. When people don't don't lot like, they don't really like maximize like how broken this card is. So like, a lot of the times, shout out Briss, shout out Briss, because he a while ago, a while ago he put me on like the two access code, which I think in like Salamangrade Cybers, it's just the correct. Just because like, if they out the first one, then like sometimes um I'll have like a heat soul point underneath it. And I just link these two for another one and make it gain 4,000. And that way, like, I have a different attribute in the form of a dark for another right. pop. So it's just, like, insurance to where, like, if they stop it, you just have another one. And also, like, on your grind game, it's just so much better with the second one. Just because, like, sometimes, like, you're in a simplified game state where um, you just have access code pass. And then, like, if they somehow out it, then you have the second one just to, like, kill them right out. So. Gotcha. And then I played two Heat Soul, so... How many times did two come up for you today? Um, quite a bit. Just because, like, if you have the first one, it's just a good grind card. Because, like, like I said, simplified game state, I get two cards off of this. Like, I'm just I'm just winning at that point. It's just right. insane. And, like, just being able to draw, like, you know, non-engine cards. And, like, you know, if I activate this, and, like, I draw right, I'm just insane. Oh, just because, yeah. like, it's just insane. <laughs> this is another interruption. So, uh, one transcode. 
Um, just standard. I can also sun this back, so it's pretty insane. Yeah, it's a great way to play around yeah. like Niv or something. Yeah. Uh, Code talk. You need to play this one just because this is the generic link too that the, you can make with the um, micro and the code generator. Right, right. It's not a bad effect. It's all right, but it could be better. Uh, double splash me just because like in some of your hands where you have to like do like weird salam salamangrate combos. Um, you need the first one and then the second one is just for follow up. It just came up a lot. Uh, uh, one wolf because you never trigger the effect to add back a spell or trap. You just do it for the monster sometimes. Right. Just for you're not Ash. The rage, right? Yeah, one yeah. Wolf, bro? Yeah, I play one wolf. Damn. Uh, two banelings. That's all you need. Just because like you make the first one and like, like I said with the jaguar, you'll like make jaguar. I'll link it into this. Search the sanctuary. Extra link and then jaguar right, put it back. Nice. Then splash mage and you just go out there to make uh, heat soul. Right, right, right. Um, New addition, I'm glad I put this in Almiraj just because like it turns my hand trap into any cybers turn one right. and like not it's even that turn real, three, though. yeah, and so it's just yeah, insane. Um, one Linger Rebo, it's just a different attribute and it's also for the trap matchup as well because like when you do the salad combos, you'll have like this and Jaguar yeah. and you need to make Jaguar a different attribute to make it dark and then you make Heat Soul, so. Nice. Then I play one Link Spider, it's the best one. Yep, Speed of break. And I played Amraj Dalio as well just because sometimes like it comes up to where if you have like right, um, Enchantress in like a hand trap that's like Ash or like Ogre which came up a couple times a day You just make this get your salad plays going and then you get to heat soul so Gotcha, you ever have an issue with getting locked into fires? No, cuz like heat souls a fire so it right, doesn't right, matter right. Okay So that was the extra 15 Then the side deck That's pretty clean extra man That's clean <laughs> Uh, three token collector just for um, all the punk decks and stuff Three DD Crow. This was in place of the Ogre, but I just thought Ogre was a more impactful card than this. So, but he's good against Despia, and it's like decent against everything else. Um, then like three Twin, three Cosmic, uh, Harpies, uh, Reboot, and then a second Draco bar. Oh my god! So that's a lot of back row hate. Yeah, so just because like about it. so like the whole so like I don't like playing Lightning Storm or evenly matches because like the whole purpose with your deck you're just trying to draw cards with heat soul and like cards like lightning storm and evenly mash just like won't resolve because like they have to have like you having no cards so like, you don't maximize on that but against the trap mashup you just draw like any combination of these you're winning so like you could draw like twin and that and, like the trap matchups can't kill you like during their turn so like when you have these to draw with the heat soul um you can just kill them next turn so okay one question did you ever feel like uh, i mean you play a bunch of hand traps especially both sides yeah Did you ever feel like you needed like droplets or dark ruler going second no just because like sometimes you want every card in your hand to be live because like the only good cards to pitch are like um enchantress and like that's really it to be honest but like dark ruler doesn't really solve like um a lot of like the scythe problems so that's why i didn't choose to play it and like sometimes like they can like um, with my testing bot and Tyler, he can like scythe lock during the standby phase, so it just doesn't even matter at that point if I just have drop through or drop it. So, um, I just didn't think they were just needed. Like, like I said, like if I just maximize the amount of hand shots I play and just like um, make them not play the game by my hand shots, then it's just fine. Right. Because typically two, especially three hand traps, should be able to keep you at least to where you can play, and your deck already plays one two card combos. Yeah. And even with like Heat Soul, like if you draw like Dark Rulers, like keep like even if you like draw Dark Rulers in the late game, it just does nothing just because like you want hand traps. It's like it's all you want with this deck. Awesome. Well, thank you for the profile. Really yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Undefeated. Congratulations. Thank First you. First place. Love the deck, man. Thank you.